Hi kids, we are on our last week of our review of a VBS from 2018, Shipwrecked. When we struggle and when we worry and when we um, are lonely, Jesus rescues. Today we're going to talk about being powerless because when we are powerless, Jesus rescues. So we've had quite a year so far, lots of disruptions. We couldn't finish school like normal. We uh, couldn't visit our grandparents for a while, maybe because they had, we had to keep them safe from our germs. We couldn't participate in sports last spring. We had to wait for the pool to open. Summer wreck didn't start like normal. We couldn't eat in restaurants. There were more and more rules to follow all of the time about the things that we could or couldn't do, and that left many of us feeling powerless. We couldn't even be in church for a long time, and even now I haven't had a chance to be in front of church with you guys for a regular children's message like a normal way. But I hope you've still been watching and listening, and I'm hoping to see you all back up in front of church very soon. This final VBS lesson then is great for us because we have felt powerless in the midst of all of life's storms. But we can always remember that we have power in Jesus' name. We have the ability to comfort others. We can pray to a mighty God. We can worship him in many different, and we've found many creative ways also to worship him. But when we are powerless, Jesus rescues. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Acts. It takes place at the temple in the city of Jerusalem, where many people came to pray and worship God. There was one Jewish man who went to the temple every day, but he could not go into the courtyard like other people. This man could not walk, and he had never been able to walk. He had never walked in his whole life. People would carry him to the temple gate every day, and he would beg for money while he sat there. Sometimes people would stop and give him money. Sometimes people would just walk on by when they would head into the temple courtyard. This crippled man kind of reminds me of every man and woman, boy and girl, who was born into this world. God's word tells us that every one of us is born with sin in our hearts. Sin cripples us and separates us from God and the life he has to give. Our sin makes it impossible to, to live a life that pleases God and helps us obey in his word. So our story continues. Peter and John, they were a couple of Jesus' disciples, they liked to go to the temple too. And they would go to the temple courtyard and tell people about Jesus while they were there. They wanted everyone to believe in Jesus. Well, one day when Peter and John were there, they noticed this crippled man by the temple gate. The man was asking everyone for money, and Peter looked at him and said to him, Look at me. So the man looked up at him. Peter said to him, I don't have any silver or gold, but I have something much better. What do you think would be better than silver or gold? Peter said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Peter then took the man by the right hand, and all of a sudden, the man felt his feet and his ankles start to feel stronger. He couldn't believe it. Even though he had never walked in his whole life, he jumped up and started walking around. It was amazing. It was a miracle, and all because of the power of Jesus Christ. The man was so excited that he kept walking and jumping and calling out praises to God. He followed Peter and John into the courtyard, and it caused quite a commotion. People had seen him and known him to be the crippled man who had always stood out or had always sat outside of the gate. Everyone heard because they knew who he was, and here he was walking around and jumping around and praising God. Now he could walk. Since so many people had gathered around to see all the commotion, people started to tell them about Jesus. Peter started to tell them about Jesus. He said to them, "People of Israel." What is so surprising about this? Why stare at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power? Through faith in the name of Jesus was this man healed. How cool is that? Faith in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, he gives us the authority to use his name in powerful ways. God sent Jesus to help everyone in the whole world. And Jesus' power is there for us when we feel powerless. I'm so thankful for that, especially as we are getting back to more of our normal routines and all for those times when we felt powerless with the craziness of the last several months. How wonderful to know that we have Jesus' power with us all the time. And when we put our faith and trust in him, he is with us always. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your power and for your gift of salvation to us. Thank you to, for being with us over the last days and weeks and months. Help us to learn and grow and read your word and learn more about you daily. In your name we pray. Amen.
And don't forget, check out those songs from VBS Shipwrecked 2018.